I do know that what happens is if you get tired, your eyes start to close, and then eventually, I don't know if they close like, whoop, slow down. I don't know if they close like all the way or if, um, uh, or you get a, you know, a, a lack of sleep fine or something. I'm not really sure, but let's not find out the hard way. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody, to American Truck Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming. We're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, I believe in the last episode, we took a job from Vegas to San Francisco. Uh, yeah, so uh, Vegas to San Francisco. Uh, we're going to get 14110 bucks from this. What is this new upgrade business? Oh, that's cool. 410 horsepower engine there. And then another, uh, a, a new transmission. Okay, well, we don't need, no. well, we can't even afford that kind of stuff right now. So, yeah, we're on our way to Vegas. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, on our way to San Francisco from Vegas uh, to do this, what's really going to be um, our first job in our own truck. So it should be good. Uh, Glenwood Canyon. I've been through there many, many times. I live in Colorado. Uh, for those of you who don't know that, all right, let's unlock, <clears throat> excuse me, head tracking. I have been looking into some uh, less expensive alternatives to head tracking uh, than track IR, which is kind of the, the de facto standard, but it's very expensive. So, yeah, we might be doing that. And before we actually take off, let's just take a look at the map real quick. All right, so we're going to pull out of here, go this way, and then it's going to take us down through Barstow, Bakersfield, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I think what we should start thinking about doing also is when we go through these places, if we see a question mark, we, we want to discover that because that's either going to be another truck dealer um, or it's going to be, man, when this thing zooms in, uh, or it's going to be a recruitment center for hiring drivers. And it looks like there's one right here. There's a question mark right here. Uh, so let's add a GPS or, or a waypoint to there first. Okay, so that means we're going to pull out and go left instead of right to discover this place. Now, if I click Reset Navigation, does that reset the whole thing? We know we have to go to San Francisco. No. Okay, so it keeps the jobs navigation. It just resets anything I added myself. Interesting. Okay. Okay, well, let's put that back there then. And yeah, we're going to want to head that way. Okay, let's go discover whatever this is over here. Parking brake engaged. There we go. Got our load there. Yeah, I would... I would definitely like to invest in some kind of head tracking for this game because, you know, uh, there's so much that you have to think about all at the same time in this game. <laughs> and, you know, using my head to look instead of having to, you know, use my right hand on the mouse, which is what I'm doing right now, would really help with that. But I'm just, you know, I don't want to throw 300 some odd dollars down or whatever it is. What are you doing, truck? Are you, you're waiting for me? Okay. Uh, well, are you waiting for me or are you not waiting for me? <laughs> he didn't have like a stop sign, did he? I don't know, man. That was weird. Okay, so we're going to go this way and then turn right. Still trying to kind of get used to how to shift the truck. Well, I mean, I haven't even hardly been in this truck yet. 
but it seems like um, double shifting, at least for the first few lower gears, works. It, and that's going to depend upon our weight, too, of course. I am not turning right on red. Last time, I, and there's a cop right there, anyways. <laughs> Last time I did that, I got a ticket, even when after I came to a full stop. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not taking any chances. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. This will be episode three. I got a reasonably decent number of views on the first video for my channel. I mean, I don't get hundreds and thousands of views like a lot of people do, but it wasn't terrible either. So, you know, we'll keep going with it for a while and we'll just see how things go. There's really two, you know, there's, there's two factors that I take into account when I decide what, you know, game to play and how long I should play the series and that sort of thing. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um, the first, the first is my own enjoyment of the game. And so there are situations where, you know, I will, I will continue a series be whether or not I'm getting a lot of views on it just because I'm enjoying it so much myself, you know? Um, and then the second factor is if you guys are enjoying it. And so if I'm, if I'm playing a series that I'm kind of, whoops, we're speeding. If I'm playing a series that I'm, I'm kind of, you know, not that into or getting burned out on or whatever, and I'm getting low views on it, that's, that's when it's time to switch up to something else. All right, hold on a second. Why is the GPS... I know I shouldn't be stopping right in the middle of the road, but... Oh, okay, because it's going to wrap us back around. Okay, so we want to keep going straight here. Sorry, traffic. guess I could have done that at the traffic light, huh? So, so yeah, that's that's it. And, you know, I, I guess I, I can say the jury's still out on this game as to how much I'm actually going to enjoy it, but I've been enjoying it so far. Um... So we'll just kind of see see how things go. I'm planning a few more episodes before I make any rash decisions, I guess, on it. So you guys let me know in the comments if you if you really want me to to keep doing this or not. Um, I've I've had a, an enthusiastic response from a, f a few of you, but yeah, just kind of let me know because that it you know I definitely take that into account too when I am deciding whether or not to continue a series, you know, stuff like that. So. And I also will, you know, I'll just throw this out there too, just FYI. This game is actually a challenge for me because of the fact that I I am not good at multitasking, <laughs> you know? And so all this stuff that I have to keep track of, you know, like I was just speeding again there, for example. Um, oh, and we just ran a red light. Oh, are we not going to get busted for that? Oh, no, we didn't get busted. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Too many things to think of at once. And since I'm not very good at multitasking, this game is really quite the challenge for me. Um, you know, so there's that too. It's, it's even just a little bit stressful because, you know, I've been in situations in real life where I've had to back a, up a trailer into, you know, hard to get places um, and had a boss yelling at me and shit like that, you know, uh, sorry, stuff like that. I try not to swear too much. And, you know, that's... Is, so, there's a little bit of, of actual stress being induced playing this game, too. But that's okay. I mean, I'm not saying it's it's really bad, and because if it was, I shouldn't be doing it. But just all those things kind of added together. Um, here, let's keep that on. I think we'll start out in second gear. And then we'll switch to fourth. Yeah, that feels good. Then we'll go to sixth. And then we're going to have to stop here. I still haven't really figured out yet how to come to a smooth stop. So i got to work on that. It could also be, you know, my brakes are a little too strong. I know you can you can ease up on those a little bit. 
but it's not just that though I'm, I'm also you know I don't know you guys who are experienced either with this game or with real truck driving you know if you're like say in seventh gear and you're coming to a stoplight do you just put the clutch in and coast all the way or do you downshift um, you know to help slow the truck down now I know if you're at high speed and you're coming say like off the freeway or something you would downshift per potentially and or use the Jake brake right but for more you know driving in town you know what's the what's the best way to handle that I'd just be curious to know okay this is our place that we need to discover up here you have discovered a recruitment agency all right nice so so now we have the ability to hire a new driver when the time comes we certainly don't have that ability right now but oh wait what are you what are you doing GPS uh, did you actually want me to make a u-turn here not in the middle of the intersection crap okay So it looks like it's going to reroute us, which is fine. If I had the the uh, advanced or smart sequential shifting on, it would, I think it would automatically put me into neutral. You know, when I'm starting to coast and slow down and whatnot. But the problem with that is that. Because I don't have that on, I have to quickly downshift back to the lower gears, so... Do we have our lights on? Yeah. Alright, 65... Whoop. Let's get back down a gear. 65 miles an hour. And we have 12 hours and 19 minutes to go. We'll get up to speed here and we'll put our cruise control on. Oh, are you... Oh, no, okay, never mind. I was going to say, are you having us get off again? But it's just a, a curve here. But, yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is fun, though. It really is. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, really, because it's like, you know, one of you guys commented, and this was a very legit comment. It's, you know, you, something about you don't get these kind of games because you, you're, you're they're too much like real work, and <laughs> that's very true. Um, but I don't know. There's something fun about it. My response to that individual was that, yeah, but this isn't my real work. <laughs> this is what I don't do in real life. So, uh, are we in cruise control now, or are we just coasting? See, I don't... I think we are. No, we're losing speed, aren't we? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Does this truck not have cruise control? I'm hitting the cruise control button and it's not... Oh, no, I'm not. Sorry, I was hitting the... I was hitting the resume, not the actual cruise control. Okay. Oh, okay. So... Get up to 65. There. Now we've got the cruise control on. Okay, so yeah, it, it does show me down on the in the digital readout on my dash that, I, that the cruise is on. It's in the lower left-hand corner. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, we've got uh, a long way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> uh, 11 hours and 36 minutes, 530 miles.
Now, can I... Oh, 45. Okay, so... Slow down a little bit. Yeah, the more I think about it, I think part of my challenge is... I can't go directly into neutral. At least I don't know a way to do that with the sequential shifting. So that's why... I think why I have a little bit of trouble sometimes, you know, uh, coming to a smooth stop. I guess I could put that smart shifting on. I mean, it would, it would help me to drive a little bit better, I guess. Okay, we are in 10th gear, man. This is the highest gear. 70 miles per hour is the speed limit. Even for trucks, it looks like. So we'll put the cruise on when we get up to speed. And then enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the trip from Vegas to, to San Francisco. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Can I put the map on and will it pause the game? I, ho <laughs> I hope it's paused. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, that'd be bad, huh? Okay, so are there any other question marks along our route? Yes, there's one in Fresno. And you know what, though? We're going to be going right by it. So I'll bet you, I'll bet you we'll just discover that when we get there. Um, we don't even have to set a waypoint for that. And then this is Oakland. Been there a few times. I don't see any question marks here. There's one up here in Stockton. Um, I suppose we could take a detour. Uh, or what we could do, we should probably focus on getting the delivery done first. And then there's another question mark there. So we could hit that one. And then there's actually two here in Stockton. We could hit those before we take the next job. I think that's probably going to be the, the right thing to do. Okay. I like that the game pauses for just a moment longer after you come out of the menu before it resumes the action. Because it gives you a second to kind of reacclimate yourself to, you know, what's going on at the time. So we're just working on getting up to speed here. Okay, we're at 71. There. Now cruise control. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't that figure, man? As soon as we get up to speed to cruise control, we get some slow dudes in front of us. Come on, man. I think we better downshift. Whoops, I hit my mouse. Right lane ends. Really? Um, okay. Let's get over while we can. Okay, we're back up to 70. It's kind of, um, you know, the other thing that's neat about this game, it this the scenery is a big part of this game. It's a big part of the culture of this game, and, and it's just kind of neat to drive around and see the country. And you're not actually seeing the country, but on the other hand, they've done a really good job, from what I can tell so far, of making these areas look like, look authentic, you know, look like the real places. Because I've been to almost all of these places, you know, once or multiple times in my life. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Very impressive, in fact. I'm almost wondering if we should adjust our field of view out just a little bit because it's not realistic that I can't see further to the right in my peripheral vision. Uh, so I got to remember where we do that. Is it is it gameplay? Uh, I wonder. Maybe I can't do that while I'm driving. There was somewhere in here where I was able to make those adjustments, but. I think 
Maybe that was when we were parked. HUD controls. We're looking for field of view adjustment. That's walk mode. I still haven't figured out how to get out of the truck and walk. <laughs> I suppose I, I should look that up, huh? Garage manager. Enable head tracking. Apply extended view preset one. I wonder what that is. Maybe you can create your own views. Oh, that could be interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, if it's in here, I'm not seeing it. I, I remember being able to adjust that when I was parked uh, in the garage, but... Dashboard, open window. I don't even have those enabled. Yeah, I still have to do a little bit more uh, configuration here. Show hide side. Yeah, that's the mirrors on the screen. Truck adjustment. Oh, is it F4? Truck adjustment. It is. Okay, nice. Um, Adjust lights. Let's put on, on, our, on our auxiliary lights. Okay. And then adjust seats. So this is my field of view. Why don't we back up a couple clicks maybe and increase our field of view just I because I just feel like we should be able to see over to the right a little more than we can but I don't want it to be too far out though either because then it starts to look odd so what if we go with 75 degree field of view uh, if we move back in though well, that doesn't feel like I'm too far away from the dash. Let, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I don't want to, you know, go crazy with this either. What does this do? Oh, that just moves the center of the head. This means, has me go up or down some more. No, I think the, that height is good. All right, let's go with this. Yeah, I like this better because now I can see a little bit more to the right than I was able to before. I mean, if this was real life in my peripheral, I'd be able to see... Oh, I guess I should... <laughs> I guess I should uh, work the throttle here if I want to keep moving, right? Um, okay, let me get my gears back straightened up here. That guy's trying to pass me. He's going, what is this idiot doing on this single lane highway here? Or two lane highway. Here, here I'll honk at you. <laughs> They're flipping me off. No, not really. I mean, maybe they are. I don't know. I couldn't see it if they were, put it that way. Yeah, I, this is a little better. Um, I think. See, I'm not really looking straight on, though. This is... This is straight on right here. But yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this. All right, our speed limit is 45. Now it's going to be 35. We do need to watch our sleep meter too. What time? Oh, too fast. And we have a stop sign up here. And we're going to turn left. Okay, looks like it's clear. It's a far away stop anyway. Death Valley. I think I've driven through there. Well, I didn't drive. My parents did when I was a kid, but I haven't been to Death Valley as, a, as an actual destination. Fifty-five miles an hour.
There we go. We got our cruise control set. Okay, bump that down a notch. We're just going downhill, that's why it's still going a bit fast. All right, we better slow down. And adjust it up to 55. There we go. Okay, better slow down just a little bit. And we have a stop sign and we're going to turn left. Oh, oh, stop. <laughs> Jeez. That came up fast, man. It came up really fast. Okay, nobody's coming from that direction. We got a truck coming uh, from over there. I like the fact that we have our own truck. Well, for lots of reasons, of course, but one of those reasons is, now, you know, I can really get used to how this truck works, right? Instead of getting in a new truck every time and not knowing what the heck's going on. like we're going to turn right up here. Now this game has a multiplayer and I wonder if you can have other players ride in the cab with you. That would be cool. I know you can have, I guess you can get like these NPC characters that can ride with you and help I don't know, do your logbooks or something like that? I haven't really in looked into that yet. Yeah, we definitely need to start out in second gear, not third. Probably shouldn't have downshifted there, but that's alright. I, I almost feel like, uh, I don't know. I mean, this, this is looking straight ahead right here. But it just, it feels like I'm almost too far to the left, maybe? Or maybe I'm too far to the right. I don't know. Just have to get used to it, I guess. There's a rest area. We're about halfway there on sleep. We got another truck behind us. I think, or maybe that's a, a camper trailer or something. downshift since we're pulling a hill now look at this scenery man this is gorgeous um, there might be a mod that you know like a texture mod that even makes things look better but I mean it looks pretty darn good just as it is I think I don't think I want to downshift because we're still pulling a hill here so we're just gonna stay in eighth gear or I should say upshift Okay, where are we at? Eight hours and 49 minutes left. At some point I need to check and see how many hours we have left on sleeping. One thing the game doesn't appear to do from what I've been able to tell is it doesn't let you select how long you want to sleep. 
and I really think it should because you know let's say I have let's say I'm really tired this is real real life too right I'm really tired but I have to get my delivery there in seven hours but I've got to sleep well I'm that's gonna make me an hour late right yeah if I if it forces me to sleep for eight hours in real life, in that situation, you know, you'd sleep for, you know, two, three, four hours to take the edge off, so to speak, and then, you know, keep going. So, I've actually driven uh, from Colorado Springs, where I live, to Vegas a couple of times over the last few years, and it's a it's a 12-hour drive, and the way I did it is... You know, if I start getting tired, <clears throat> I just pull off at a rest area and sleep for, an, you know, an hour. Just like a quick power nap, and then I'm fine for, you know, a few hundred more miles. Um, actually, I only really had to do that once, maybe twice during the whole trip. And, you know, it was it was great. So, that would be a more realistic way to handle the sleep, I think, in the, in the game. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm still not shifting ideally here, but I'm, I'm still learning. One thing to keep in mind, too, is there's knowing what you need to do, and then there's remembering what you need to do, and, there's, and then there's the skill to do it. Those three are all three different things. I generally know what I need to do when I'm driving a truck. I mean, I don't know everything. I'm not saying I know everything. Uh, I, was, I, I don't, but there's more to learn for sure. But I know I know the basics. I understand the principles. But remembering to do all those things, <laughs> that's a whole different story. And then the skill, you know, and then there's skill too, you know, like backing into a difficult place. I mean, I know what I need to do, but the skill to do that, which is a lot of it's just automatic muscle memory kind of stuff, you know, that I don't have a lot of. So, you know, that's just going to come with time. That's all there is to it. Beautiful scenery though, man. Looks like we're going to turn left up here. We'll turn left and then we'll check our our information, see how you know how we're doing sleep wise uh, for when we have to sleep and that sort of thing. Let's use the Jake here. Oh well, I used it a little too much. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I might I might go back to the smart shifting. Because I'm, I'm kind of creating more problems for myself by not having it on. Is that guy in handcuffs? He is in hand. Uh, what was he? <laughs> I don't know. It looked like he was in handcuffs for a minute there, but then it looked like his hands freed up. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm going slow. Just relax. Or just pass. There you go. Just pass. Okay, let's get up over the crest of this little hill here, and then we're going to go to F6. Okay. Uh, so we have 22 hours left to complete this job. We will be at a rest stop in six hours. And let's get our cruise control set. Okay, good. And our sleep meter, it doesn't, I, I don't see where it tells me exactly how much longer I have for sleeping, but we probably should stop at that rest stop in six hours and sleep because we still have plenty of time to, to get the, the load there. We, you know, we still have almost a full day, 22 hours, so I think that's what we'll do. All right, cool. Let's switch back to GPS mode, and we're going to have to turn our righty tidy up here.
Okay, we got a, a big rig coming there. We're in second gear, which is good for starting off with this load. Let's come to a full stop again, just in case it doesn't think that I did. Yeah, finding that the center position that feels comfortable for me is kind of weird. That might be easier to do, you know, once we get uh, head tracking going. Everything seems to be looking good with the load. Set the cruise control, and here we go. Oh, look at that chopper. Wonder if it's going over to where the cop was. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a cop. Let's get some tunes going here. I can't remember <laughs> I don't remember what my hotkey was for it, so that's a good one. Yeah. 
Alrighty, so uh, it looks like I might have missed my rest stop. <laughs> uh, there's another one in four hours, though. Our sleep meter is definitely getting up there. Uh, so let's do this. Let's um, kind of get on a... This is a winding road, man. Okay, let's stop here for a second and see, is there a place we can sleep? Yeah, there's a place we can sleep here in Fresno. In fact, there's also a uh, rest area uh, too. Yeah, right. This was the place we were going to go right by where we wanted to go there. So how about if we put a waypoint to there? And we will spend the night in Fresno, and we'll also check out what this uh, question mark place is here, too. Because I don't know if I can go another four hours, you know, with my my current sleep meter. Uh, I'm not sure how I can tell exactly, you know, what that is. Oh, slow down. Um, if you look on the right-hand side... Kind of at the top of that display, there's a little bed icon, and it's blue, and it's getting close to the top. But what does that mean, though, exactly? I mean, how many hours do I actually have left? I do know that what happens is if you get tired, your eyes start to close, and then eventually, I don't know if they close like, whoop, slow down. I don't know if they close like all the way, or if, um, uh, or you get a, you know, a, a lack of sleep fine or something i'm not really sure but let's not find out the hard way <laughs> with that uh, okay anyway let's get back to our gps so i don't miss this turn off welcome to fresno ladies and gentlemen and let's see how's our fuel level too that's the other thing we got to pay attention to uh it's yeah it's getting low so we should probably also fuel up here in fresno in fact, let's do that right now, because there's gas right there. Um, can I pull in there? Yeah, I think so. We'll pull into the center. Okay, use the following key to stop the engine. Press and hold the following key to fill the fuel. There it goes. Okay. Man, I really wish we could get out of the truck to do these things. It would just enhance the experience so much. Okay, that cost us $554 to fill up. 87 gallons. $6.36 for diesel. Okay. Okay, so we are going to go up to here and then turn left to get to the sleep spot. And then when we leave in the morning, we'll come back up to here. In fact, can I set a... Well, no, let's not set a second waypoint yet till we get to the sleep. Okay. We are going to clear everything, right? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Oh, what just happened? What the heck just happened? It made a crunching noise like we hit something, but I am not anywhere near anything. A fine didn't pop up. It just made the crunch noise like we hit something. Did we run... <laughs> We ran over a can of Coke or something? I don't know. Confused. I got plenty of clearance. Okay, whatever. Whatevs, man. Warning, parking... Oh. Parking brake engaged. What? Thought I had taken that off. Okay, so... We're gonna go righty-tighty here. Uh, no, righty-tighty, not lefty-righty.
Look at that old car, man. That's cool. Fresno discovered. Nice. Whoops, did it again. Yeah, you know what? Okay, this is becoming a pain in the butt. We're just gonna go to gameplay, I think. And I wanna find that advanced sequential shifting. Transmission type. Yeah, smart sequential shifting. Okay, let's just go with that. I think the benefit of using that will outweigh the pain in the butt. Yeah, see, it's, it's automatically now skipping uh, two gears, which is kind of what I was trying to do, but not the best job of it, I guess. And then, it, yeah, it went from five to six, which was kind of what I felt was right to do there, too. So, yeah, well, at least we agree with each other, right? We are going to the right place. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check the map again. Oh, yeah, we are. I, I was expecting it to be a little closer, but... Going too fast. Slow down. That light is green, and there's a cop in front of us. Uh, you are going to stop, right, dude? Okay, thank you. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Okay, so we got a motel here. Um, do we pull around back, I guess? Make sure we're gonna clear the end of that. Yeah, we should be good, okay. Use the following key to stop the engine. Oh, okay, so we just sleep here. We're kind of like right in the road though. What if somebody else needs to come back here? Let's pull around. We'll just pull up against the fence here. We can probably just sleep anywhere in this parking lot, I'm guessing. Okay, are we straightened out? Not quite yet. Let's get straightened out here. Ah, that's close enough. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. Press the following key to rest. Parking brake on. Five o'clock in the morning. Yowzers. It's dark out. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, uh, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, I am going to put a waypoint here, though. So we go by whatever this question mark thingy is. It's either going to be a truck dealer or it's going to be a um, another recruitment station. And uh, we're fueled up, we're rested up, and we'll be able to finish up uh, the rest of our run to Frisco. 
Uh, in the next episode, we're a little over halfway there, so not too bad. That was a nice run. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun today actually doing this. This was great. And uh, let's save our game too, by the way. Save current game progress. Um, we'll call this save too. I might need to come up with a, a better naming convention for our saves, but this will work for now. And uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. We'll catch you next time around. Bye-bye.